Konnichiwa minasan and welcome to the class in the second lecture series on introduction to Japanese language and culture. So in our last class we learned to use tsumori and we also learnt about narimas, how narimas is used in the language. Last time I also told you about the gift culture of Japan, what is important when you give a gift and how you are supposed to receive a gift. Also last time we did koto and we learnt koto with zannen. This time we are going to continue with koto, learn something new regarding koto and what is the construction, what is the sentence, what is the meaning, how it is used in the language. So let us see what we have today and learn something new. So as I always do, let us listen to the kaiwa and then I will do the explanation. Mirasan, kabuki o mita koto ga arimasu ka? Saikin wa mita koto nai kedo, mai ni nankai mo mita koto ga arimasu yo. Hanasan wa kabuki o mimasu ka? Watashi wa kabuki wa suki dewa nai kara, anmari mimasen. Ah, watashi wa daisuki desu. So it's a small kaiwa. It is between Hana and Mira. So Hana to Mira san no kaiwa desu ne. Mijikai kaiwa desu. Nagai kaiwa dewa arimasen. Ja watashi wa ikkai yomimasu ne. Mina san ni yoku kiite kudasai. Wakaranai koto wa ato de setsumei shimasu. Mira, kabuki o mita koto ga arimasu ka? Mita is miru in past tense. Koto you have already done and ga arimasu ka? So mita koto, have you seen it? Arimasu ka? Saikin wa mita koto ga nai kedo, mai ni nankai mo mita koto ga arimasu. Saikin is these days. Wa mita koto ga nai. I have not seen demo but mai ni earlier nankai mo many number of times many times mita koto ga arimas i have had the opportunity of watching kabuki hana san wa kabuki o mimasu ka do you watch kabuki watashi wa kabuki wa suki janai kara amari mimasen so with amari sentence is always in the negative meaning that I do not like kabuki thus I do not watch. Ah, watashi wa daisuki desu. I love kabuki. So very very simple kaiwa only this is new over here and we are going to do it in the lesson. Here you have kanji for koto. Generally kanji for koto is not used. It is written in hiragana. But as the kanji has come over here, I will quickly write it for you. You can see it. I will do it again later. Koto ga arimasu. This is nankai. Nan and kai. Simple kanji kai. So you can do these two kanjis here. Rest I will do with you later when we do the kanjis. There are a number of kanjis today. So. Today we will use koto and learn a new sentence construction. We have studied koto earlier also. We did it in our last lesson with zannen as well. So you already know that koto refers to a thing which is intangible, which means that it could be an incident, an occurrence, a situation, an event, state of affairs and is mostly written in hiragana. Now let us very quickly see the sentences. You can see the kanji again, koto. Now look at the sentences, ii koto wo oshiete agemasu yo, ii koto wo oshiete agemasu ka, both sentences can be used, ii koto, ii koto is something good, oshiete agemasu ka, Kore wa daiji na koto desu. Daiji is 
very close, something which is very important, very dear. Koreba daiji na koto desu. Daiji. So you can see the kanji over here. I make these kanjis again and again for you so that at least if you are not able to write, you can at least recognize them. Indo no shukan no koto o hanashite kudasai. Shukan is custom no koto about regarding. Hanashite kudasai. Please talk about customs and rituals of India. Nihongo o shiru koto wa muzukashi desu. Nihongo o oshiru koto. Teaching Japanese wa muzukashi desu. It is an observation, a statement by someone. But if you say Nihongo o osheru koto wa kantan janai desu yo or Nihongo o osheru koto wa kantan janai desu, it is not easy. So, in the negative, kantan is easy and janai is deva nai. So, kantan deva nai. It is not easy. So, what does it mean over here? It means that the person is actually experiencing it or experienced it and then he is saying Nihongo o osheru koto wa kantan deva nai desu. Deva nai and janai both are same. So, slightly different from muzukashi desu. Muzukashi is difficult in a general sense, both sentences mean the same, but here it is more strong, it is stronger than this one over here. You will see it now later also in this lesson. Now, Nihongo o narao koto wa muzukashi desu. Exactly the same meaning. Shigoto shinagara Nihongo o benkyo suru koto wa Muzukashi desu. Shina gara. You have done two actions done simultaneously at the same time. So, suru, shigoto suru plus benkyo suru. If you do two things together, it is difficult to do something else. So, shigoto o shina gara while working, while working at a company or some other work that you are doing, Nihongo o benkyo suru koto wa muzukashi desu. It is difficult to learn Japanese. Shigoto over here basically means kaisha no shigoto, not any normal other work that you do. So, there are a lot of kanjis here. The first kanji that you have here is of oshieru. So, do it like this. Oshieru. Then you have shukan over here. Shu and kan. And then you make a me. Shu kan. Then you have shigoto over here, over here, and goto again. So you can see shi goto. There are a lot of kanjis for you today. So go over these kanjis, these come in your exams in N4. Now there is a sentence over here using koto, and I am giving it specially over here because. There are a lot of forms that are used in the sentence. So, Rao san wa deri daigaku no koto o yoku shite iru no de watashi yori Rao san ni kiita hou ga ii to omoimasu. So, you can see so many forms are used, koto is used, daigaku no koto about Delhi daigaku, Delhi university. Yoku shite iru knows a lot about Delhi daigaku. Node, 
because he knows a lot watashi yori more than me rao san me you ask kita hoga e it is better that you ask rao san i think so i think should come over here i think it's better you ask rao san more than me as he knows a lot about delhi university so koto shite iru yori yoku is also there ta hoga to moimasu and ni what i want you to do over here is to use these in sentences so make sentences at home and practice with your partner this is your homework now you have this kanji of benkyo as i told you there are a lot of kanjis today i have given this stroke order for you how to make this kanji i am going to make it once and then you can make it on your own later on so 1 2 and this is very similar to oni san except for this stroke over here and like this then 1 2 3 and then like this and similar to mushi so benkyo the stroke order is given over here please check it out then benkyo chu chu is the word and then naka is another reading for this benkyo chu then benkyo jikan you know the kanji for jikan so benkyo is the same and jikan benkyo time study time then you have benkyo hair you can just concentrate on the word benkyo hair hair is room so study room benkyo hair i'll do the kanji sometime of hair later then benkyo kai kai is also au another reading is kai kai shano kai so benkyo kai study group this is benkyo kai study group so these are some new words for you with just this kanji benkyo go over it again and again and benkyo you will not forget then there is osheru i just did osheru with you once again like this and make a ko over here and osheru to teach and shukan also i made just now so go over it then we have learned to show possession belonging and this pattern we have studied as watashi no okasan no desu it is my mother's or you have also done to show possession as watashi wa hon ga arimasu i have a book or watashi wa kuruma ga arimasu i have a car or otosan wa kuruma ga arimasu a person has something so otosan wa kuruma ga ari mas this pattern we have done so now in this pattern what you can do is noun 1 you can replace over here and noun 2 this part you can replace and make n number of sentences and practice we have done this a number of times so just go over it what i want to do today is something very different now we will use the same form and we will show experience now if we have to show experience we will require a verb now this also means that you will have to use the verb in past tense to inquire from someone if the activity you want to know about has ever been experienced by the listener or not so how do you think we are going to use koto over here we will use verb in ta form that is past plain form plus koto and ga arimas which we will use for experience 
and particle ga plus arimas we have used earlier to show existence of something or possession of something. Now what does this verb ta plus kotoga aru mean? It shows past experience, something that a person has experienced. Now you already know that when we join words with koto, it becomes a noun phrase. So the same thing is going to happen over here as well. When we are going to join a verb with koto, it will become a noun phrase. For example, koto san wa amerika e itta koto ga arimasu. So what does this mean? It means that koto san has had the experience of going to US. Look at the example now. Koto san wa takai kuruma ga arimasu. He has an expensive car. Oto san wa kuruma o norimas or kuruma o nori mashita. Oto san wa kuruma o notta koto ga arimas. So oto san has had the opportunity of using a car. Notta is or noru. Noru is to ride. So ride a car. Now look at more examples and it will become very clear. Chichi wa kuruma ga arimasen. Very clear that wa and ga construction, he does not have a car. Kodomo no toki chichi wa ikkai mo kuruma o norimasen deshita. So when he was a child, he never had the opportunity of going in a car ever, not even once. I am talking about my father. Why? Because Chichi is mentioned over here. And Kodomo no Toki when he was a child. So Chichi wa kuruma o notta koto ga arimasen. So this is of childhood. Now what am I saying? Chichi wa kuruma o notta koto ga arimasen. He has never been inside a car. He is never travelled by car. He has never used a car. Now look at this construction. Oto san wa amerika e itta koto ga arimasu ka? A is asking B. So has your father ever been to the US? Ever been to America? Has he had the opportunity of ever going to America? Itta koto ga arimasu ka? So, hai. Oto san wa amerika e itta koto ga arimasu. He has had the opportunity of going to America. So the answer is hai. It can also be ie. Ie oto san wa amerika e itta koto ga arimasen. Like we did norimasen deshita. This was of a specific time when he was a child. So arimasen deshita or norimasen deshita. Now this is a statement, he is telling something that no, he has never been to the US. So thus ga, why ga? Because it is a fact, he knows for sure. Now this is even simpler for you, you will understand very quickly. Manga o yomimasu ka? Do you read manga? Okay. Manga o yonda koto ga arimasu ka? Have you? read a manga ever? Have you had the opportunity of reading a manga ever? Manga o yonda koto ga arimasu ka? So now the important thing over here is that with koto ga arimasu ka or koto ga arimasu, verb is in plain form. This is what is important over here. Now there is a kanji which we need to do. This is kai. Number of times you do something. Kuruma is there. Kuruma is there. Koto again is there over here. Koto 
then your muscle there. This is you and then your move. So, remember these you and move. Your move is to read. Now, you can practice over here and I am sure it will be better. Nihonji ni atta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you ever met a Japanese? Did you ever get an opportunity to meet a Japanese? Ni atta. Ni is for au. Au will always take particle. Ni. Tanaka sensei ni atta koto ga arimasu ka? Specific person. Some sensei in school. Have you had the opportunity of meeting him? Tanaka sensei ni atta koto ga arimasu ka? So the answer could be yes. Hai. Arimasu. Or iie. Arimasen. Nihon jin to hanashita koto ga arimasu ka? Have you ever had the opportunity of talking to a Japanese? Now why to over here? Because when you talk, there is interaction from both sides. So nihon jin to hanashita koto ga arimasu ka? If you say nihon jin ni hanashita koto ga arimasu ka is from your side only, one sided. So what is the answer? He says, Nankai mo hanashita koto ga arimasu. I have talked to him a number of times. You did nandemo ii desu. Number of times. Hanashita koto ga arimasu. So this verb over here changes into a noun phrase. Makes the whole sentence into a noun and then koto can be used because koto can only be used after a noun or a noun phrase and you will see that always verb is in plain form in past plain form now what are they doing over here he is teaching sensei is teaching they are in class mai ni nihongo o benkyou shita koto ga arimasu ka my is my ni expression time expression ni earlier nihongo o benkyou shita koto ga arimasu ka have you had the opportunity of learning or studying japanese earlier nihon ni kurumai ni so making it even more clear nihon ni kurumai ni before coming to japan nihongo o benkyou shita koto ga arimasu ka have you studied Japanese. Now look at this one. There is lot of practice for this so that this becomes very clear because there is lots more to do with koto and koto needs to be very very clear in your mind. It's something that you use in conversation a lot. So please pay attention over here and try to understand koto. So nihone itta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you been to Japan? Hai arimasu. So shite and shinkansen ni notta koto mo arimasu. I have also been inside shinkansen which is the bullet train. Notta koto mo arimasu also. And so shite over here is used to join this thought that nihon e ikimashita. So shite soko de shinkansen ni mo nori. Mashita also nori mashita. Another short dialogue. Tempura o tabeta koto ga arimasu ka? Have you had the opportunity of having or eating tempura? Hai, tabeta koto ga arimasu. Or iie, tabeta koto ga arimasen. So you can use it whichever way you want. Only iie and hai has to be kept in mind. Also, the answer could be tempura wa tabeta koto ga arimasu ka? Iie, mada desu. Still not had. Iie, arimasen. I have not had or eaten. Mira wa Europa mo Amerika mo sore ni eikoku ni mo ryoukou shimashita. We did 
Soreni also above this these two places this also she went to. So, Mirawa Europa mo America mo Soreni Eikoku ni mo itta koto ga arimasu. So, she has also been to Britain besides these two places. So, this is how you can use. Now, you will see that verb is being used over here. Over here, it is just ryoko a noun. If you want to use ryoko and not itta, which is a verb, how are you going to use it? So, ryoko o suru. So, ryoko o shita koto ga arimasu. Instead of ryoko o shimashita, ryoko o shita koto ga arimasu. She has been to all these places. Nihongo o oshieru koto wa muzukashi desu. I told you earlier also there was this sentence. So, nihongo o oshieru koto wa muzukashi desu. Just an observation, a statement. Somebody has said, I have heard and I am just repeating. I have nothing to do with Japanese, I do not feel anything about it, I just say Nihongo o osheru koto wa muzukashi desu, just a simple statement. Now, Nihongo o osheru koto wa kantan janai desu yo, kantan de wa nai desu. So, when you use it in the negative like this, then it is more emphatic, meaning that you are one trying to say that I have actual experience of it and also you feel a lot about it that is all. So, you can you can make such sentences and see on your own and you will be able to understand the difference. So, we have done koto in different ways now you can say the same thing in another way by using nova in place of koto wa. both change the sentence into a noun phrase. So, let us see how it is done. Now, as I was telling you earlier, with kotowa it is a general observation, whereas with nova the speaker expresses his feelings more strongly and he tries to also convey that he has some involvement or has had some involvement or knows from experience about what he is talking. With koto there is no such involvement, it is just an observation, something the speaker is just saying. You can see from here, osheru koto wa muzukashi desu, it is difficult, just a statement, osheru no wa muzukashi desu. So, over here the speaker is trying to say that I have experienced this and thus I am telling you, this is just an observation. We have just done this in our previous slide. So, you can replace koto wa which is given over here with no wa. Most of the time you can replace koto wa with no wa, there are certain sentences where you cannot, well you do not have to bother at the moment with those, we will only try to do sentences where you can replace koto with no. So, nihongo o osheru koto wa muzukashi desu, kantan janai desu. Shigoto shinagara nihongo o benkyo suru koto wa muzukashi desu. We had these sentences earlier as well. Now you can see that you can replace koto wa with no wa. Shigoto shinagara while you are working, nihongo o benkyo suru koto wa benkyo suru no wa muzukashi desu. Nihon de benkyo suru koto wa kantan de wa nai. It is very difficult to study in Japan. Nihon de benkyo suru no wa kantan de wa nai. So, it could be that tuition fees is very expensive or living in Japan is very expensive or you do not know Japanese. So, any of the reasons could be given for nihon de benkyo suru koto wa kantan de wa nai or you do not like the food. So, now kantan de wa nai is one. You can also say it is kantan des, nihon de benkyo suru no wa kantan des, or you can say nihon de benkyo suru no wa dekimasen. I 
cannot afford to study in Japan. So, now this is very clearly related to okane that tuition fees is very high so I cannot afford it. Thus, deki masen. Nihon no daigaku ni hairu no wa muzukashii desu. So, the entrance exam is very difficult. Hairu koto wa muzukashii desu. That entering a Japanese university is very very difficult. Rao san wa nihon e iku no o shitte imasu ka? So, A is asking about someone else. Rao san wa nihon e iku. He is going to Japan. Sono koto anata wa shitte imasu ka? Do you know of this? So, joining these two sentences with no o. Rao san wa nihon e iku no o. Nihon e iku koto o shitte imasu ka? Do you know that he is going to Japan? So, this is how you can use koto and no, you can interchange most of the time, not all the time. So, there is a small kaiwa, listen to this kaiwa carefully and there is something new that is there in the kaiwa. Let me see if you can catch it. Mira-san wa doushite kono shigoto o shitai desu ka? Omoshiroi kara desu. Sore ni nihonjin ni aeru shi, nihongo no renshiu mo dekiru shi. Ii kangae desu ne. Shigoto o shinagara nihongo mo naraeru. So shitai desu. Ganbatte ne. So, could you follow something over here? There was something new. Well, I will read it again. Mira san wa doushite kono shigoto o shitai desu ka? Why do you want to do this shigoto? Omoshiroi kara desu. Because it is omoshiroi. It is interesting. Sore ni and above this. Nihonjin ni aeru shi. I can meet them and meet. Au is the verb. Au. This shi over here means and. I kangae desu ne. This is a very good thought. Shigoto wo shinagara while doing shigoto. Nihongo mo naraemasu. Naraemasu. You can learn. So, I put it in plain form over here. So, shitai desu. I want to do exactly that. So, shitai means this is what I want to do. Whatever you were saying that I can work and also learn Japanese. Gambatte ne. Gambatte ne. So, intonation is rising. Simple kaiwa, go over it on your own and look at she. Now, there is practice for you. So, look at this picture. Denwa o shinagara shigoto o shite imasu. He is working. Shigoto shinagara Hanashimasu while working. He is also talking. This situation all of you have been through, I am sure. You want to watch TV and your mother is not happy about it. So, well, Yuta gohan o tabenagara terebi o minai de ne. So, do not watch TV while eating. Performing two actions at the same time. Doing two actions simultaneously. So, den wa o shimasu, shigoto o shimasu. Den wa o shi nagara. So, shimasu, ikimasu, nomi masu. Simple, just remove the mas form and put nagara. So, shi nagara, iki nagara, nomi nagara. Of course, the form is there, but this is not used. So, we can make another au, ai mas, kai mas. So, remove the mas, ai nagara and kai nagara. 
So, just you need to add the Nagara, remove the mass, two actions at the same time. Lot of times you study and you are listening to music or you are talking to your mother and also maybe watching TV. So, Terebi o mi nagara okasan to hanashite imasu or okasan to denwa de hanashi nagara aruite imasu. So, you can practice this loudly using two verbs. There is more practice. Rao san wa radio o kiki nagara benki o shimasu ne. Mm, daijobu desu. That's all right. I have no issues. Or Rao san wa radio o kiki nagara benki o ga dekimasu ne. He can do his benki o while listening to radio. So, instead of Rajio, you can have any of this terbi, denwa, ripoto, rombun, and shimas. Instead of this verb, you can have any of these verbs miru, taberu, hanasu, kaku, and over here, instead of benkyo, gohan, ripoto, anything you can put over here and make sentences in practice. You can ask also and answer. Do it with your partner and it will help you in conversation. Now in our uh, kaiwa, we just had a new word which is she. So, we have learned to join different parts of speech by using to and kute to make sentences. To is for nouns and kute is for I adjectives. So, how will we join verbs now? One thing that you have done is with te. Gakko e itte, benkyo, shite, uchi e kaerimasu. Isn't it? So, this te form you have done verb plus verb in te form plus again verb in te form plus te form plus iku or kaeru. Now, today we have she, where we are going to join verbs with this conjunction. So, you have it here, verb in plain form, adjectives also yasui and yasukatta in past tense over here, then noun is with datta and da which is again plain form and na is exactly like noun, then we da and then we Datta. Let us see how the construction is now and what it means. Kyo wa yasumi dashi, tenki mo ishi, doko kae ikimashou ka. Yasumi dashi and today is yasumi desu. Tenki is good, doko kae ikimashou. So, plus 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 three sentences into one. Kyo wa yasumi dashi, tenki mo ishi, doko ka e ikimashou ka? Question. Doko ka e tabe ni ikimashou ka? Shall we go and eat somewhere? Generally we say that it's such good weather, let's go out. Doko ka e pikuniku ni ni ikimashou ka? So, any of this you can use over here. She joining sentences. Always plain form is used. You can see it over here. Shigoto o mitsuketa shi, kekkon mo shita shi, totemo ureshi desu. So, three sentences. Shigoto o mitsukemashita, kekkon no shimashita, totemo ureshi desu. Shigoto o mitsuketa shi, I have found. Then, kekkon mo shita shi, I am married. Thus, I am very, very happy. So, I am very content at the moment. Joining like this. So, here you can see it is a noun. Here it is a verb. Over here also it is a verb and this is an adjective. 
So, all of this is given over here, how to join them, how to use she in your sentences. You can practice over here, Nihongo no shinbun ga yomemasu ka? Can you read the Japanese paper? Kanji ga wakarimasen, bunpo mo muzukashi desu. Two sentences, kanji ga yomenai shi, I cannot read kanji, verb. Bunpo mo yoku wakaranai shi, I do not understand the grammar. Amari yomenai desu, I do not read that much. With amari always sentence will be in negative, the verb is going to be in negative. So, this is how you will use she, this is with verbs. Rao san ga suki desu ka? Iie suki dewa nai desu. Doushite desu ka? So, you do not like Rao san, what is the reason? Uso o tsukimasu. He tells a lot of lies. Yakusoku mo mamorimasen. He does not keep his promise. So, uso o tsukushi. Tsuku. Tsukushi, yakusoku mo mamoranai shi. He does not even keep his promise. Amari suki dewa nai desu. I do not like him. So, another exercise for you. Atarashi apato wa dou desu ka? So, the hint is eki kara chikai desu. Atari wa shizuka desu. Atari is surrounding area wa shizuka desu. Eki kara chikai desu is it is close from the eki. So, how are you going to use she over here? I have written it in the script for you, I want you to read it. So, try. Yes, eki kara chikai shi. Shizuka dashi. Na adjective. Totemo ii desu. It is very, very good. Now, you can also say it in another manner. Eki kara chikakute. It is close to eki and benri de. Totemo ii desu. So, this pattern you have done with adjective, na adjective and i adjective. Benri de, kirei de, oishikute. So, using and, she is also and used with verbs most of the time, but well you can use it with nouns adjectives as well. So, with this I would like to finish today's class, there are lot of things that we covered today, koto ga aru, one, then we also did she, conjunction, joining adjectives, nouns and verbs meaning and and then we also did nagara which is two actions done simultaneously. How you are going to use it in your um, sentences? Well, practice with your partner and I am sure everything will be very clear. So, with this I would like to finish the class today, come prepared for your next class. Till then, arigato gozaimashita, mata aimashou.